Is it bullshit? Once you learn to be satisfied alone, by yourself, you'll never be depressed after the end of a relationship again. Bird shit, while not exactly a cow pie, it's still a little shit. The end of a relationship signals at the very least, the loss of any time and energy spent nurturing that relationship. It's natural to grieve after any loss of a close relationship. Processing emotions takes time and everyone handles this differently. The idea of being satisfied with yourself, and being alone implies that you have cultivated positive habits and hobbies that make being alone a positive experience. So, when suddenly find yourself alone after a relationship and you begin to grieve, you may not feel the effects as keenly as someone who is not comfortable being alone. This advice applies to many kinds of loss. The key here is that being satisfied alone means you know how to look to yourself for relief, and a way to keep moving forward. The statement in the title is boiled down. Pertinent life advice. Well-meaning but potentially misguided without the rest of the context. Having your heart broken hurts whether you like yourself or not. Bullshit. Bullshit. You can be amazingly satisfied with the person you are but you still have to grief and work through losing someone. It makes the depression not as bad but does not make it disappear because the depression of a breakup is usually more than just time alone now you are also dealing with the emotional ties being cut. So somewhat bullshit although there is some truth to it. There is no way to escape the heartache at the end of a relationship. Not one that means something to you anyway. It's grief, the potential wasted time, the future that will never be. Remembering all the last times you never realized would be last times. However, being alone hurts less. Dealing with the pain of the breakup is easier once you're satisfied by yourself. You feel able to give yourself an emotional or physical hug. Able to show yourself love and compassion through a terrible time. Rather than making it worse, you'll probably bounce back a little easier because once the grief has started to process you're like oh cool I get to hang out with myself now. Look at all this awesome stuff I can do that I couldn't before. There are more positives. So, kinda bullshit, kinda not. I guess, source, have been through several breakups. Not bullshit. Learn to be happy alone. So you do not have to rely on someone else for your happiness. In my experience, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. Sure, I don't mind being alone at all and find I'm not really upset after the end of a relationship, so that's okay. At the same time, I find I care about relationships less to begin with. Relationships take effort to be successful, and if you're indifferent to putting in the effort, they fail. So it's unlikely I'll get the same fulfillment out of a relationship as someone who makes themselves vulnerable, yet puts in the work to strengthen and maintain that bond. It's a double-edged sword. Total bullshit. I love being alone and by myself but it doesn't mean I don't mourn the loss of people in my life. Especially people who are close. It's like saying you won't be upset when your mom dies because you're happy on your own anyway. I split up with my husband for almost a year so he and I could work on ourselves. He lived in sober living, out of state for like 6 months. We have been together for 12 years without ever being away from each other for more than a few days. I was totally comfortable alone. I liked a lot about being alone. We moved back in together last December and it's been great. Event though I am fine alone. Happy even, I couldn't imagine my life without him. I would be so sad. So it's bullshit. No matter how secure you are alone, how much you love yourself, you will still feel grief and sadness if a relationship ends. I think it has more to do with confidence as well as the ability to be on your own. Plus you need to realize that relationships come and go. Most tend for a good reason. Life is far too short to dwell on a single person. I hate this dumbass saying. I love my life and have fun but I wish I had a partner again. Depends on the person their mentality and mindset. If you have a healthy mental state and a fulfilled lifestyle then it's probable that you might not become depressed after a breakup. I have known a few people who hit rock bottom after a relationship ends I have known a few who weren't phased by it. I don't think it makes it hurt less, it's just easier to be alone afterwards. 
I have friends who can't stand to be alone and will just jump into a bad relationship after a breakup. Lowering their standards just so they aren't alone. Bullshit. I'm extremely content alone. I have a zillion hobbies and other people can be so draining sometimes. But I absolutely adore my BF. At times we've broken up. And I was just gutted. It's important to know how to be alone. But it isn't exclude from loving or wanting other people in your life. Bullshit. Emotional health is not a buffer against grief. If anything you have the courage and fortitude to feel it more openly. And hopefully let it go. That's quite silly. Of course you'll be depressed after losing a relationship. Even if you're satisfied alone. It's not just mourning for having someone there. It's mourning for the actual individual that you lost. Bullshit. If you care about the person, it will hurt for the relationship to end. It however will help keep you from rushing into something that isn't right for you right away. It's a good goal, but not for the stated reason. Bullshit. Just because you are content with being alone doesn't mean that you have lost natural human emotions associated with ending a relationship. Maybe you will bounce back quicker but you should feel some amount of sadness. I was used to being alone. I was tired of being alone. I got into a relationship. I stayed too long. Realizing I was better off alone than with a controlling, assholian, alcoholic schmuck like him. I still mourned. Absolute bullshit. The relationship, a healthy one at least just isn't focused on you but also on the well-being of many others. Even if you are okay with being alone worrying for the welfare of others isn't mitigated by your lacking the need to have people around you. Source, I'm alone, perfectly happy being alone, who loves people. I love being alone. I'm vouching from solely personal experience. But I did date a girl that I really truly loved but things ended. Of course it hurt but being able to be alone more often did soften the blow substantially for me. Not bullshit. Once you learn to be satisfied by loving alone, at peace and order, you'll never need anyone else thus no need to end relationship, and there is always a prostitute around for those moments. Nah it's bullshit. I enjoy being alone but I felt sad about relationships that I myself ended. It's easier. It's better. But it's not trivial if you ever actually cared about the person. Mostly bullshit. Yes. It is incredibly important to your mental health to be satisfied by yourself. And happy with who you are. Will it magically stop depression in its tracks? Absolutely not. Depression can be a tricky thing easily triggered by just about anything. So being independently happy is beneficial and will make life's most stressful situations easier. It is not a hidden immunity idol. And one could become independently happy. But over the course of the relationship become dependent on the other person, and have to relearn to be satisfied with themselves all over again. Everybody saying it's bullshit don't know self love yet because it's not bullshit. The correct answer is not complete bullshit. If you love yourself that means you accept the shitty parts and can recognize the loss of energy in your life and can use that to an advantage in your future. You're still going to be sad. You're still going to cry and feel a sense of loss. If you end up depressed, that means you were never really satisfied by yourself and you should revisit that. No I'd say, in my own experience. If a relationship ends, it's always upsetting. Be it a pet, a friend, a loved one. That's natural, and it always takes time to learn to adapt to living without them. Especially if you were very close in a loving, emotional and sexual relationship. But the period following a relationship is a golden opportunity to break through the loneliness threshold and get to know yourself as an individual again after so many years of compromising on so many levels. You feel a burst of new life. And this, this can empower you to become more selective in your romantic aspirations. You are not tied up in a post-relationship lonely depressed state that you believe will be resolved by entering into the same emotional bond with another person, therefore further denying you the opportunity to discover that loneliness can be conquered, but the sadness of a lost love never will ex. Bullshit. I'm going through a breakup right now, and while I'm happy with the decision and I'm mostly okay by myself, I still miss her presence in my life. 